Jim Feist in Las Vegas for jimfeist.com. I'm just going to go down the card and talk a little bit about some of the NFL teams. And uh, the first matchup I'm going to talk a little bit about is the Lions against the Vikings. The Vikings, we expected, I expected to have a pretty good year. I don't know if Kirk Cousins is really legitimate. It doesn't look like it when he gets a primetime game. He really looks bad. The Lions seem like a team that just can't stop anybody and a team that can't be stopped. Offense is great. Defense is terrible. The Ravens at the Patriots. Ravens are one of those teams that blew up a big lead, lost last week to Miami. Two or through six, through six, that's right, six touchdown passes. Pretty incredible. The Saints blew it against Tampa Bay. They go to Carolina Panthers this week. That's a division game, division home dog. That's usually a good spot for the home dog, but I don't know. This Panther team just can't seem to score very many points. Of course, Jameis Winston looked like the old Jameis Winston from when he was with Tampa years ago. Lots to learn there. Uh, the Texans at the Bears. I'm not too sure how many people are going to be watching this game unless they have money on it. So this is a pretty awful matchup. But there are some awful teams in the NFL this year. The next game, the Chiefs at the Colts. This should be a really good game. We expected it to be. I thought the Colts were going to run away with their division. I thought they were going to really be good this year. But boy, Matty Ice looks like he lost about 20 years coming over from Atlanta. Real bad effort so far. Frank Reich could, could be on the hot seat pretty soon if he keeps this up. The Chiefs are dynamite. The, they have a good coach, good quarterback, good players in a lot of key spots. It's a six and a half point spread. It's a, it's a big number, it's a tough spot, but uh, Matty Ice and the Colts have to wake up to make these things competitive. Pretty much the same thing with the next game, the Eagles at the Commanders. Hard to say, Commanders. It's, uh, that's hard. It's, it's hard to remember that. The Eagles look dynamite against the Vikings on Monday night. Everybody's riding in the Eagles against the Bills for the Super Bowl already. It's a little too soon for that, as far as I'm concerned. The Eagles are a six-and-a-half-point favorite. Commanders seem to be able to... They can generate some offense. This could be an interesting high-scoring game. The Bills are at Miami. This is the Miami team. They got the six touchdowns from Tua. The Bills look like they're playing in another stratosphere. Six, five and a half point favorite, 52 and a half total. This could be a real shootout. Remember, it's hot and humid in Miami. That usually bothers a lot of teams, but the Bills have had a pretty good record against Miami. This is going to be a tough one. Another division home dog. Bengals at the Jets. The 0 and 2 Bengals meeting the Jets, who came from behind to beat Cleveland, the hapless Cleveland Browns. They have so much talent on that team, they just can't seem to get it together. But the Bengals, offensive line problems, what a mess this is on that offensive line. Burrow will not make it through the season unless they can fix some of those blocking schemes up front. It's not going to help their running game either if they can't block. So uh, this is a big game. Six-point favorite on the road against the Jets. The Jets are playing free and easy. They don't have much to lose. And uh, Flacco, uh, he can still throw the ball. This is a big game for the Bengals. You know, go down 0-3. You're kind of giving up a lot of your playoff opportunities. You go down 0-3. Another team that blew it last week had a big lead, 20-point lead. The Raiders go to Tennessee this week, and the Tennessee looked awful against the Bills, but a lot of teams are going to look awful against the Bills. But Tennessee's not a good football team. They didn't do anything in the offseason to help themselves. The Raiders, I'm not too sure. New coach, I didn't think they should have got rid of the coach they had last year. The players were playing good for them. I like the Raiders' uh, resume. I like what they have on their team, the skill players, the quarterback. They can do a lot of good things, but so far they haven't done so. The Jaguars, who shut out the Colts last week, go to the Chargers. Now, the key to this game is the Chargers are a seven-point favorite. But we don't know if the Chargers quarterback is healthy. 
He rib problems. We saw saw it on national TV. He was in a lot of pain last week. So we're not really sure what his condition will be. And if he does play, will he be able to make it through the whole game? The Jags are an up and coming team. They got a lot to play for. Very hyped up. This is a dangerous spot. I really got to wait to see what happens with the Chargers quarterback. Falcons at Seahawks. Again, this is one of these games where a lot of people aren't going to be interested in it, but neither one of these teams are very good. Falcons have a little bit more experience at quarterback. They have some skilled players. They have looked at times pretty well. The Rams at the Cardinals. Cardinals are another team that made a big comeback against the Raiders and beat them last week. The Rams are on the road, three and a half point favorite, 48 and a half the total. Packers at the Bucks. This is a big game. You got uh, Aaron Rodgers against Tom Brady. You can't get any better than that. It's a one point game, Bucks favored, go, probably go either way. But uh, this is probably the marquee game of the day and everybody's gonna wanna watch this one. The 49ers at the Broncos, that's on Sunday night. Broncos, um, I don't know, Nathaniel Hackett looks like maybe the worst coach in football. Let's hope he uh, straightens that out and he can get this together and learn how to be a head coach. He's trying to be an offensive coordinator and a head coach. It doesn't look like he's able to handle those two jobs. He can't even get the plays in on time. And Russell Wilson, you know, I, I've always been a Russell Wilson fan, but I'm not very impressed with him right now. He may not be anywhere near what he used to be. And that might have been a mistake on my part. But the 49ers, they have a Super Bowl, Super Bowl roster. And with Jimmy G at quarterback, unfortunate for the quarterback last week that got hurt, but Jimmy G is the right quarterback for this team. The 49ers are crazy to try to get rid of him, and they're smart and lucky that they have him. 49ers are the better team, better roster. They're a two-point favorite at Denver. Hard to see Denver being a, an underdog with Russell Wilson, and their, their roster is also very good, but they have not played all that well. Make sure you tune in all week long for new videos. And thanks for watching.